All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chen. I'll be your tech guide for today. And then the topic for this episode is how are we going to use um, MIDI, uh, MIDI hardware to affiliate with QLab, okay? So for now, I'm using a Akai Professional APC Mini. So I'll be using this MIDI hardware to uh, control my cues in QLab, all right? So by the way, right now, I'm sitting here at the deck 13 of the uh, cruise ship. And in front of me is another cruise ship, okay? So just a bit background of myself. I'm a tech here in a cruise ship in a, one of the very known cruise line in the industry. Okay, so going back to uh, QLab. So as of now, you can see here in uh, my software, QLab is currently empty. All right, so here's the objective. I'll be uh, plotting songs here or just for the sake of this uh, tutorial. I'll be putting only one song, all right? One song, and then we will trigger it via this MIDI controller, okay? So it's up to you whether what uh, trigger you're going to use here, whichever is um, efficient for you, and whichever is easier, uh, easier for you, okay? So once again, here's what I'm going to do. I will plot a song for the sake of demo. So I'll be uh, getting song from here okay all right and i'll be using this song okay all right now this song is being plotted already to the uh, software now we need to go to triggers okay but before anything else before anything uh, you do before you go further all you have to do is to make sure that your hardware or hardware is fully connected to your system or to your laptop okay so for me, I'll connect now, okay, okay, now the hardware is fully connected. So that means if I uh, work with the software, QLab, it will be waiting for any commands or MIDI notes coming from my hardware, okay? Once again, it's APC Mini um, from Akai. Okay, so since I already have a track or a song loaded in the in the software so here's what I'm going to do is I'll go to triggers and then just follow in your uh, you can see in my screen uh, that's uh, the, it's currently open so you go to triggers and then you have to make sure you go to MIDI uh, trigger it's check okay that means you enable the MIDI support okay so here's what we're going to do if you would like to control uh, this uh, music, you have to make sure it's highlighted, okay? So you can see, highlight so that you can go to the options or uh, more options that you would like to configure from your QLab. Okay, so now going back, so MIDI trigger is currently on and now make sure you press capture, okay? Now you can see there, it says here, waiting for MIDI. That means your software is already uh, waiting for any MIDI commands from any uh, MIDI shortcuts you're going to use from your hardware. And by the way, every uh, cell or ad, uh, every part of this um, hardware uh, represents a MIDI note that will be recognized here in your software. So in this case, I would like to use this um, shortcut as play for this track number one okay so i'm going to press now so that my software uh, software will recognize okay press as you can see here right after pressing i can see the note number 56 with the velocity of 127 so that means it successfully recognized my midi note okay so let's try here's uh, what i'm going to do i will press uh, the midi note or the midi cue all right there we go. It's playing. Okay, you can see here it's playing. Alright, so for now I will stop, I will escape, press escape, stop the songs, or emergency kill all playing tracks. Now the question is, we, we can play already the tracks, but how can we stop it? Of course, 
So if you would like to stop, you need to go here. All right, this option is a stop, drag, and drop here, okay? Once it's dropped from this part, it shows X, okay? Letter X, that means the software cannot recognize what is he going to stop. So of course, when we are playing this track from track one, uh, scene number one, so we need to stop this. So all you have to do is to drag it inside the stop option, which is um, number two. Okay, so same thing what we did earlier. So I'm going to make a um, MIDI command or a shortcut uh, for this option uh, for me to be able to stop the song. Okay, so once again, you need to go to uh, triggers. Okay option triggers and then make sure your MIDI trigger is checked and then press capture and here in my hardware I would like to use uh, let's say this one shift I would like to use shift uh, as my stop button to stop my track one okay so I'm going to press all right so now the same thing, this uh, software uh, captures note 98 with a velocity of 127. So that's it for now. So here's what we're going to do. We will try to play the track and then right after we will stop, okay? So I'm going to press play now. All right. Okay. There you have it the track stops okay so once again this video um, is uh, I'm talking about QLab software where you can uh, play tracks control your lighting fixtures and sending time codes and so many things that you can uh, use with this very powerful software okay so once again uh, shout out to that cruise ship or uh, whoever are there shout out to them once again, I'm Chan, and I'll be uh, posting or I'll be uh, putting the the down download this uh, download link in the description so that you can download QLab. Okay, so once again, I'll leave a message for you. Just make sure you practice and you do it yourself for you to be able to learn. Once again, I'm your Tech Chan, and saying ciao for now. Bye bye. And by the way, before I say goodbye to you all, just make sure you go and hit subscribe down there uh, from my YouTube channel for me to be able to create more videos, all right? Just support uh, this channel so that uh, I'll be posting many things that is related to lights and sounds and gadgets such as um, Akai. All right, DJ controllers, and then I'll be posting videos, troubleshooting laptop from your Mac, Windows, and so many things. And in the future time, I'll be uh, posting a video reviews of DJ controllers and sounds and lights equipments. Okay, once again, bye for now. It's Chen and saying enjoy your day. Bye bye.